Hello everybody, it's Donna. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is, it's a Saturday morning in South Central Ontario. I'm hoping it's a little bit nicer out there, but I came down to my craft room this morning because I'm so excited to try a card that I saw uh, Jamie from Jamie's Craft Table do. Uh, I'm not making it exactly the same action, I'm probably making it totally different, but she stamped the butterflies from the Butterfly Brilliance Collection onto, um, like, just with the coordinate ink onto, onto different colors of cardstock and then she put them on top of the black and that's where I found was really amazing like they really just popped right off the black uh, cardstock so that's what I decided to do something similar to that now just a reminder if you've seen me at last couple of videos that I am running this special so for the for the month of March if you order the butterfly brilliance collection using this host code from our from my website I will send you a PDF of three projects well now there's a little bit of a hiccup in that the butterfly brilliance collection actually includes the DSP with the butterflies all on it um, let's see if I can grab some here unfortunately the butterflies the DSP you'll recognize it the DSP is no longer available which is really sad because it's only two weeks into the promotion or two or three weeks into the promotion so it's really sad and they can't get any more so it has sold out so the butterfly brilliance collection itself will, will not be available however you can still buy the dies and the stamps together and if you do buy those two together you still get 10% off through the Stampin' Up! website and if you do buy the two together it will be less than this less than $97 because you're not buying the paper with it and I will still send you the three projects. Now it's it's disappointing that the DSP is no longer available but there's still so many things that you can do with just the dies and the stamps or the stamp alone. Okay so let's get started with what I decide I'm going to do this morning. So I'm using a, I did prep some things, I'm using a um, basic white. This is probably still Whisper White because I think I still have a, a stash of Whisper White, which everybody should know that we is just being replaced by basic white. Unfortunately, when I went to stamp the sentiment, I had a stamp from from Garden Wishes. I was using the from All of Us on the inside. It just looked kind of weird to be sitting there all by itself, so I just covered it up with a with a white matte layer and I put a little butterfly that I die cut using one of the dies on the inside. That was just, I think it just looked, looked better that way. To have the four from all of us just stuck there in the middle didn't look quite right. But rather than waste the card base, I just stuck a mat on top. So that's the card base we're going to use. I then took a piece of uh, black and this is just basically a quarter inch smaller. So this is going to be five and a quarter by four and I ran it through my die cutting machine with the ornate flowers uh, uh, embossing folder which is somewhere on my desk but I mean you get the picture you can probably use anything that you happen to have in your stash will work uh, I just didn't want it to be plain flat but and that you could do too you don't need to emboss it but that that kind of adds a little bit of um, element to the front of it then I took the wishing you all the best stamp from the Garden Wishes again and I stamped it out on a piece of scrap white and used one of the stitched nested label dies to cut it out. Again you could use, you can do anything, a rectangle, maybe if there's a punch that you haven't might fit that and that's going to go right down on the bottom there. Then I wanted three of the butterflies that I'm going to die cut out of different colors of cardstock and I'm thinking these three will do fine. I'm I could have maybe re replaced this one with the two smaller ones and that's probably going to be, look fine but I think I'd rather have just the three so I'm going to use these three which are the the middle three sizes I guess they are but we'll see after I get them that cut out I might change my mind this one I think was just too big for this would be good if that if, if I just put one on but I think or maybe one of those little tiny ones that are in the set Okay, so I'm just going to go off. Actually, I'm going to show you the cardstock. I did use my inventory pages that I showed you how we did the, the other day on which colors I wanted. I knew I wanted them bright. And so I did pick Melon Mambo as one of the colors. And then Mango Melody. I love Daffodil Delight, but I think I wanted something deeper than Daffodil Delight. And I'm using Gorgeous Grape for the three butterflies. So I'm going to do 
cut one of them out of each of the three colors and I think those would go really nice together, nice and bright and bright, vibrant against the black. Okay, so I'll be back in a second after I've got those cut out. Okay, I'm back. I have cut, die cut the three butterflies out of those three colors. And you can tell what I mean when I put it on top of the black, it just, they just pop and they just, they almost glow. And it, it's just, it's just so pretty on top of there. So I'm going to you, you just use some liquid glue. I could have put the cardstock on top of um, double-sided adhesive and that way they would stick right down because I'm not going to pop the wings up on these ones. I just felt because they are kind of delicate. I just wanted them to make it easier for me to for putting in an envelope and mailing. So when I put the glue on, any glue would work, but I used to use the sponge. You know, people used to use the sponge and they'd sponge the glue on. And I don't do that, but I'm not actually super careful because I'm going to tap this off onto uh, just scrap paper. Because obviously the, if I put it down just like it is now, too much glue would squirt out onto my cardstock. And regardless of whether it dries clear or not, you can still see it. Okay, so I'm just going to tap off a little bit. Not too much, but I still want it to stick to my project. Just put something heavy on it. And then I'll do the other two the same way. Okay, so there's the piece. I think I just think that looks so pretty with them just sitting there like that. They're, they're very vibrant. Now I'm going to put the sentiment on. I think I'm going to use dimensions, dimensionals on the sentiment just to give it a little bit of dimension. I could even maybe use Wingastella on the butterflies to give it a little bit of sparkle too. I don't think I'm going to, but, but we could. And I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive to attach to the front of my card. And there we go. Now I could add, I'm thinking, I could add a little bit of a few embellishments around there. Um, I'm not sure what, maybe something in silver or white, maybe. Let me go see what I have. Okay, so these are some, these are Stampin' Up. Now some of them I'm sure came from Paper Pumpkin kits or they could have been, they could be expired, I don't know. I think the white would look nice. Those ones, no, because they kind of blend in. They don't give that pop. I do have these little pearls but I don't think that's what I'm going for. And then these gold ones, which are no. I do like these silver ones, but I think I kind of want the white because the white again pops a little bit. So I'm going to take this white, I guess they're called sequins, and their adhesive back. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few of them around. Side, I didn't like those. I think it looked Oh, that one kind of stuck, but usually it doesn't stick. Luckily, it's black and can't really tell. I just didn't like that. I could put a couple of these little tiny gems on the tip of their antenna. That might look okay. I have enough small ones. And there we go. Now that is just, it's so pretty. The colors just pop right off the, the black. And it's quick and simple. And it's another way to use your Butterfly Brilliance um, collection. Okay, so that's the card for this Saturday morning. Again, if you are purchasing from me, if you purchase the Butterfly Brilliance bundle, which is just the, the Butterfly Brilliance wings, or the Brilliant Wing dies and the Butterfly stamp, then I will also send you a PDF of three projects. Now I have to re rework the projects. I'm not going to use the projects that have the DSP in it, just in case people weren't able to buy the DSP. Okay, so that's it for today, and we will catch you next time. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.